It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today, it'll be Diamond Dynasty Baseball between Alabama and Louisiana. Now in the box, Tony Gwynn. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. This is skied into short left center. Seeger is calling for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Got it, got it. So striding in, Mookie Betts, as Mookie. he'll get his first opportunity yeah. in this one. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Batting third. The third baseman, number 13, Manny. In Machado. now, Manny Machado. Back up the middle. Scooped up. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. At the plate, Tony Gwynn. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half. Half of the first. Hot shot on the ground is short. And that's out number one. That Into the box now. Larry Walker. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Walker. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Batting third. Settling That's in now, stop. Corey Seager Corey. looking to get on base and keep this Seager. first inning alive. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate. That Bases are empty here with two men out. Nope. Maybe That's trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Throw into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Batting four. The Stepping in now, Mike Trout. Now a check swing, but that... Second inning set to go, and up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. And it's one and two. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Mike Trout. Trout. On a line, that's a base hit. Batting fifth. At the, the first plate now, Cody Bellinger. Ball. Saws Cody. him off here as this ball is popped into the air. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Batting seven. To the, to the plate catcher. now, Number Buster Posey. Line toward right center. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And not in time as the second run scores. Batting it. So it now to the plate, Carlos Correa. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Fly ball out toward left center field. And he's going to get there after a long run as he gloves it for the second out. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not... So stepping in, Gavin Lux, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. 
And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Batting fifth. Into the, the box, baseman. Carlos Correa. Carlo. One and two now. Correa. Paxton has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty B, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you that have to throw the ball in the strike the zone. Base, and when you do with great yeah. stuff like this guy has, he racks Finger up the strikeouts. Down. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. Off speed pitch okay, in the dirt you. as he takes it for a ball. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that, that pitch misses. It's ball catcher. four. Buster. Grounded to third. Both Machado in. is there Out. to second for one. Out. On to first as they get the double play. Now batting, James Paxton. 9-1-2 and two due up. The 1-1 home. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Got him now to miss the breaking the ball there. James Paxton becomes the first Win. out of the inning. Lifted the other way out to left center. On the move is Trout. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And the throw to first ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. Justin Turner please. will grab a bat and hit, hit for it. the pitcher here. Justin Turner. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. Fielded cleanly, and there's oh. one away. The Stepping right in and ready for another 19. shot, Tony Gwynn. Tony. He's 0 for 1 after grounding Gwynn. out in it. only trip to the plate so far one out nobody on this is skied into short left center long run for the center fielder he's got it a nice play there two away the standing in Number Larry 23. Walker 0 for 1 for him here in this one Walker and now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Into center field, line drive base hit. So that'll extend the inning and with two away, bring up Corey Seager. The batter, number five. Shorts up. Corey. In now, Corey Seager. Seager. Sent on the ground out to second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The center fielder, number 27. Standing in now, Mike Trout. Two and one. 
throw. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The batter. Number Trying to nine. pick things up where he left off. Gavin Lux, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Hit softly down the line at first. But a foul ball, one and two now. One and two, here it is. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Quinn is there as he makes the catch and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Your Emilio Pagan, a right-handed reliever now, standing 6-3, gets Emilio. the ball now out of the bullpen. Pagan. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So that brings up the big bat. Now Joey back. Gallo. The left fielder. Joey Gallo. The 1-1. One, one. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now the three and two pick. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Trout has a read on it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first in time, one away. Here, Jock Peterson now the first reached baseman. base via the walk Jock. in his first plate appearance. Peterson. And he misses two and one. Now, a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. A former MVP waiting on deck in the form of Buster Posey. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Buster. Here's Buster Posey now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Hosey's got it, and he makes the throw to first. Bellinger is retired, and there's one away. Now batting. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former World Series champ, MVP, and rookie of the year, Buster Posey. And Buster's going to make his way aboard. He's got a base hit. The batter, number one. Into the box now, Carlos Correa. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Ready for another chance? James Paxton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Paxton. Willie McCovey will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The 1-2. Rounded softly down the line toward first. 
But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. A great job of holding up right there. Little two out lightning might ensue by one check swing holding up. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. 3-2 pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Another full count pitch home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. And that's the third out. Sean Doolittle, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Ladies Sean Murphy will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now coming into pink kick. John Murphy. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. The pitch. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And there's one down now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Tony Gwynn. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. The left fielder, number 33. At the plate now, Larry Walker. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Ready for another shot now. Corey Seager, he singled his last time up. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Into the stands. He got it. Throw back to first. Over to first now, and he's out trying to scramble back. Your Nishak takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Pass. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Tony Gwynn. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batter. The second base. At the plate, Mookie, Mookie. Betts. Bet. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And the go-ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with nobody the out. Baseman, number 13. To the plate now, Manny, Manny Machado. Machado. Weak Machado. grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. So coming now to the plate, Joey Mike Gallo. Here. And he could Joey. very well get the intentional Gallo. pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning.
Bottom of the sixth inning now. And standing in, the ever-dangerous Mike Trout. Eric Gagne comes on now, and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. Fouled off. And now before the 1 2, time is called at home plate. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. Hard on the ground towards short. He's got it. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, Gavin Lux. He flew out in his last at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. It was mostly pitching and defense in this one, but the man you see here made some noise with the bat, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. When you walk up here to now the plate.